Let's just jump right in because I don't believe in wasting anyone's time. We're here today to talk handbags. Okay, I want to share with you three handbags that I just purchased. One, I think I'm going to send back, but I said I share with you anyhow. So let's just jump right down to business. Okay, so the first handbag I have to share with you is by Coach. And as you can see, I've already like went through the bag, looked at the bag, inspected the bag. And I have to be honest, when I first saw the bag on the site, I wanted it right away. However, after I purchased it, I felt like I had buyer's remorse, which is no good. So something told me, you're going to be sending that bag back. And that voice was correct. I'm going to be sending this bag back. Now, I wanted to share it with you because it wasn't because of anything negative. It's just that I feel like it was an impulse purchase, which I've been trying to stay away from. I don't like those things. I rebuke them. I rebuke them. <laughs> and, I mean, the bag is gorgeous. This is... Let's just get into the bag. This is the Quilted Trail Bag by Coach. Uh, from what I've heard, this is a different trail because most trails don't have this pocket in the back from what I've seen in other reviews of Coach Trail Bags, which I actually really, really like, by the way. And I think that's partly why I feel like I'm going to be sending this bag back because I feel like this bag is, might be better and just not, I mean, I like the quilt, but I just don't, let me just say this. I don't think this was a purchase that I really wanted. I think the sale and like the, Honestly, I can't really speak to it. Just this feeling I'm getting like, are you going to be using that bag as much as you think? Every time I look at the bag, I'm like, this is a beautiful bag. I think it is quite beautiful. I like that there's nothing on the bag that is too much. And I also like that you don't see the coach uh, horse and carriage or the coach emblem of any sort on the bag, which really attracted it to me also. Um, not that it would really be a downer, but I just really like that you don't see any C's or, you know, any coach emblem on the bag. I think this is a nice bag for going out, and that's one of the reasons why I feel like it's a great thing that the bag, you know, doesn't have any signature or anything to that effect on the bag. However, I'm just not... I'm not drawn to it in the way that I was when I first saw it. As soon as I purchased it, as soon as I purchased the bag, as I said, like that feeling dissipated. Um, I don't know. So I'm just, I don't know. Every time I look at the bag, I'm like, oh, it's such a beauty. But I don't feel drawn to it like I felt instantly when I purchased it. And like I said, that feeling was fleeting it left as soon as I made the purchase. Well, not as soon, but maybe like a few hours later. I was like, I don't know if I did the right thing in purchasing that bag. Because quite frankly, if you were here for my last video, uh, well, not my last video, but the video before that where I said that I'm still into contemporary brands, which I am, uh, I'm not sure I want, like this kind of took me off my how can I call it, my bag trajectory. Does that make sense? Like bags that I've had in mind to purchase. And this wasn't, this was kind of like off, you know, off the grid type purchase. Well, off, that's not the right word to use, but it was like off my trajectory. Like the bags that I like, said, oh, okay, I, I, I think I want to get this bag next. I'll save for that bag and like that. And so, yeah, I don't know. But every time I look at her, I'm just like, oh, girl, are you sure you want to send her back? 
this is really a strange feeling, a really strange feeling. Anyhow, let's get into the bag because I don't want to waste too much time. I'm just, you know, we'll talk through it. I don't think I'm going to take all of this off because I am, as I said, I'm believing that I'm going to send this handbag back. But I will pull this over to the side. Like I said, there's nothing, no real big, like, like signature or emblems on the bag or labels that are very like obvious on the bag to say, you know, or shout out coach, except for there, there's a coach engraving, very discreet. Obviously it has the signature tag, but this is removable as you all know, if you're familiar with coach, uh, the back has a nice little slot in the back. However, the only thing you would be able to fit here is maybe a card or an ID, and that's it, girl. Your phone won't fit. I tried it, nah, it's not doing it. The inside of the bag, and I should add the zippers are really nice and smooth. Uh, let's look at the inside of this bag. Nice size. This is really a small handbag, but that's what I think makes it perfect for going out because. You can, it's like a date night, b girls brunch type, you know, you know, or just hanging out with your girlfriends. It's a really nice bag and I could especially see this like really nice for the summertime or even the holiday season um, in the winter, but I can't, I don't know, like girl, I'm talking it up like I'm keeping it out. <laughs> I'm confused. Anyway. This is the coach tag on the inside, as you can see, um, in this little slot, not tag, but you know, the, what would you call this imprint or like stamp coach stamp, uh, you know, and you see this in all of their bags, uh, which proves that for the most part that it's a actual authentic, uh, coach bag. There's a little like slot in the back again not big enough for anything um besides a card i doubt you would probably use that for anything of course the literature that comes with um most coach bags to let you know about the care and all that inside this little tag here is just a little tag of horse and carriage which i think is really wonderful and adorable because that you know i did say and i've never noticed that before in any of the other bags. I'll have to check my tabby to see if they have that on the inside. But I'm assuming that this is because this bag is part of their, you know, I, I want to say horse and carriage like line, if that makes sense. Um, on the little tag, you see an actual ho horse and carriage. And if I didn't say already, this is the coach trail quilted bag uh just a little different than the regular trails which i actually really really like oh my god i seen a nice bright yellow one but let's not derail the video let's continue this bag original price 4.75 but i got this bag for it was 20 percent off 190 dollars for 100 and i believe 60 something dollars uh so anyway you do the math uh <laughs> and then it comes with this cross body strap which is both leather like this this soft gold leather look which is the same um name of the color a soft gold and a chain the chain link which you can heart you can kind of see it through this which i don't want to take off because like i said I'll be returning this bag, so I'm not going to do all of that. Um, the, the gold matches exactly to the zipper and also to the hardware. It's that like nice brush antique gold, which is really lovely. I like the top handle too. Really nicely done. I just really like the bag. I really, 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 really do like the bag. However... It's crazy because right now, the more I look at it, I'm like, oh, girl, you sure you don't want to keep it? I think that's such a great buy for $162. And 
But right now, I'm just like, girl, I don't know. Like, it's crazy because honestly, I was feeling like, girl, you shouldn't have purchased that bag because there's some other handbags you really want to get that you have had your eye on and you're just going off course. I don't know. Ladies, let me know in the comments down below what say you about this bag. Like, I honestly had my mind up to return it. But the more I look at it, I'm just like, girl, I don't know. Should you return it, girl? This might be a nice look for the summer. Anyway, let's move on because indecisiveness, no bueno. <sighs> that other girl is trying to convince me to keep her. I had to shut the video down and move on to the next handbag because really I'm just looking at it again like, I don't know. The more I talk about it, the more I'm convincing myself to keep it. It's really strange. Anyhow, let's move along. Let's move along. I'm so excited to show you all this handbag. Now, this one I know I'm keeping. I, I just know it. Uh, and let me tell you, oh, the, the smell of the leather is intoxicating. Let's get into her. Okay, girl. Let's. What's going on with this? Okay. I just don't want to drop this box down to the floor. Get it together. Now the own, okay. Let me not talk to it. Let me not speak to it. I want you all to notice on your own without me talking to it. Here she is. Here she is. This is the bag. These are the feet. She, oh, the leather. The smell of the leather is everything. Now, you would have recalled me talking about how badly I wanted this bag. And uh, even the puffier version. And then I said, oh my God, I just really, really want the boy bag. Now, all right, let's, let's, let's take our time. Let's take our time. So this is the bag. Like, don't you just... Uh, What I love, too, is this little detail here. You get to, like, intertwine the handles because there's, like, this magnetic closure that you can kind of twist open and carry the bag like so. Oh, my God. Like, what? And I guess that's why it's called the wonton. <laughs> I'm in love. All right. In love. Like, first of all, the leather is divine. The smell is divine. And so this is the strap. What I'm going to do is, because I'm not getting into the specs and all of that on, you know, because I don't know all of that information like the back of my hand. So I'm going to have to post it onto the screen like I've done in the past. And we're just going to deal with it that way. Right, ladies? I think we can, we can deal. So, like, you can carry it this way. But say you are not interested in doing that and just carrying it like so. What you can do is take the straps. Okay. Let me put her back in the box here. Let me, um, because I'm going to have to undo this buckle to put the strap on. All I can say is, and I should say, well, all I can say is the leather is intoxicating, but I should also say that the strap is adjustable, which I absolutely uh, love. I also want to add that the bag is coming across like a cherry red, but it is not a cherry red. It is actually a deep maroon or burgundy actually burgundy is the appropriate color that's the color um i don't know if you can tell because i kind of feel like it's coming i mean it's really like my lip color but it may not be coming across 100 percent that way on screen hopefully it is but this bag is just everything everything and i'm going to show you a little bit about how she looks
Okay, so it falls like right at, well, the top of the bag falls like right at the top of my waist. And then I would say the bottom is a little below my hip bone, if that makes sense. Or at the, a little below the top of my hip bone. Um, I absolutely, this is just, it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here for her. I'm here for you. <sighs> I said I was in love with her. I am in love with her. I am just like smitten with this handbag, but I need to tell you the best part. Are you ready? Let me get my hair together. This is a dupe. This is not an actual boy bag. The actual boy bags have boy, the B-O-Y-Y, -Y, at the bottom. This I found at my dupe headquarters, <laughs> Etsy. I was able to come across this bag on Etsy. It is genuine leather, a gorgeous genuine leather. The leather is divine. It's so, when I say supple, like... The suppleness of it all is just baby, baby, baby. It's there. I'm just in awe of, I'm just in awe. I just love this handbag. And so let's get into the price because that is important. It cost me $186 and I believe some insignificant cents, which it should have just been like one eighty six ninety nine or just one eighty six. I don't know. It was really weird. Anyway, and then it came to one ninety seven, and I'm assuming because I think shipping was free, it was one ninety seven. Anyhow, I got it from the Etsy seller Kara. Kara Leather Goods, I believe, is the name. I'm going to have the name on screen just in case I am getting that wrong. I do plan to go back and purchase another bag. Maybe not this style, but they had several other like dupe, like genuine leather dupe bags. Um, so I'm thinking about going back for the Jody uh, bag, the Bottega Jody dupe. Uh, and just seeing, yeah. I'm really impressed with this bag, with the leather. I love this. I was more than willing to pay for the authentic boy bag, the authentic, um, the authentic wonton boy bag, but me just fooling around on the internet because I'm always on Etsy also, just looking around. And I had already had in my mind to look for a boy bag, not boy bag, a Jody dupe. Because if you've been here before, you know that I've gotten several dumpling or cloud Bottega bags uh, dupes from Etsy. And so I was like, oh, I might just get um, a Jody. Like you can see back here, I got that from Etsy, um, this bronze bag there. And I was like, maybe I'll go back. Different sellers, though. Maybe I'll go back and get it in black because I really want a black. I need a black bag. Um, but every time I go to buy a black bag, I'm always somewhere else. Like, I'm never looking at black bags. You need a black handbag and you don't look. And, like, I'm always... <sighs> Girl, you're always elsewhere. Um, I don't know what it is what that's about. I'm just never like, I need a black, I need a black hair back. Um, anyhow, so what was I saying? That's, that's how that happens when I'm looking for a black handbag. Like I'm, I always end up somewhere else buying a different color when I need black and I never get black. Anyhow. So when I, I was just like, what is this? You know, sometimes when you're looking on Etsy, like many other uh, stores or retailers, other suggested items will pop up. So I was like, wait a minute, what? Is somebody selling their boy bag? Like, what's going on? And then I was like, oh, you do. They have dupes of the boy wonton. 
And guess what? Like, I love this bag. Like, I love this bag so much. And this is the small size. All right. So, I'm, I'm rambling. Let's... Everything is... I'm going to let you be the judge, though. But I'm also going to post on screen an authentic boy bag. The only difference is that it doesn't have the boy signature here, which I appreciate because, you know, it, it's not trying to... Well, it is a dupe of, but it's not trying to market itself as a boy bag, you know, to trick the girls like a replica would. Um, but I don't know. You know, some people may still not be into dupes. I am because this bag, I mean, the original boy, um, you know, would cost me a nice little penny. Maybe... I don't know, at least a thousand dollars. But I was really willing to because I really, really, really wanted the bag. Um, because I just like the style of the bag and also I'm, you know, wanting different like shapes and you know, like that. But anyway, I wanna show you guys or give you some idea of what fits. Now I didn't do that with the coach bag only because uh, I don't I feel like if I do all that, I'm going to be tempted to keep her, which I am tempted to keep her despite not doing all that. But anyway, here's my cell phone. I feel like you can tell a lot is going to fit here, but we're going to run through really quickly. That's my phone. I have an iPhone size 12. You know, I used to always say I have an iPhone 11. I don't know why I kept calling it 11. I had an 11 in the past and somehow I thought I still had an 11. Girl, no. I have my lotion. Um, what else would I possibly carry in this bag? I have my key holder, which I love this thing. Let me just say, let me, I'm going to mini rant real quick. I think, and this is the four key holder. This thing gets a bad rap and I absolutely love this. I got this from Rebag. I think I mentioned it before. It is only supposed to hold four keys but because you know I'm maximizing whatever I buy I have how many keys on this one two three four five keys I have five keys plus my library card <laughs> on it and then I you know because I'm an old woman I have like a good RX like paper card back here but I mean, I know you can't fit your card key, your car key in here because most of us have a chunky car key, but I don't give an F. Now, if I wanted to though, I wish I had it upstairs, I could put a car key on this and just keep it on the inside and trust me, it would not bother me. Honestly, I don't care who tells you otherwise, this for me is well worth the money. I love this damn thing. I love this damn thing. Did you hear me? I love this damn thing. Now, for some of the girls, it may not be worth it, but for me, it's worth it. I mean, I just feel like it makes it easier for me to find my keys always in a handbag because it's like a mini wallet. And so if I dip my hand in, I, you know, I'm not mixing up my keys with some chain, loose change, thinking, oh, it's... It, no, it's easy. It just makes it easier for me to locate my keys, and I just appreciate it. Anyhow, that's my rant about that. All right, let's see what else I have in this bag. All right, so <clears throat> I put my phone in. I put my card, um, my, my key holder in, a lotion in. I have my, and I don't know why I have this, like, why my card case is holding my card like that. Like, it won't go all the way down. Oh, did I have something stuck in there already? Oh, I see why. It was kind of getting stuck on the skull right there. I, uh, I shared this with you guys. I got it for $99 from Saks Off. They have it in navy um, blue. They have it in white. I think they have it in, like, this camel color. And they also have it in, like, a textured leather. Anyway, this is my... Um, Alexander McQueen card holder. I absolutely love it. So I've been carrying this. I've been carrying card holders in place of wallets for a while now, despite the size of my bag. 
This is that. I should have if I was smart, but it's downstairs. I don't feel like running down to get it. Um, I usually have my it comes with my um goyard tote you know that little like pouch they have inside there it's really small it's kind of like the size of a wallet i wanted to test it's shorter than a wallet however i'm sure it would fit in here but hold on i have something that might you know might replace it now this drawer is a mess hopefully you can't see what's in here i have a bunch of like accessories and things and and, and eyewear in here but I, this goes to a belt. Um, so I'm going to print. It's a, probably a little, um, the height is probably a little smaller. But that case that I just spoke to that goes with my Goyard is about this size. I'm just going to dump it in here just for the sake of reference to see what can fit. And I still have space in this. And this is the smaller size. Now what I don't know is if this is the very same size as the boy. Uh, but, oh, I'm sorry. It's getting late. And so my lighting is getting a mess. Um, <laughs> uh, so I don't know if it's the same size as the actual boy bag, but we're going to test that in a minute. I'm going to put all of the specs of both this and the boy bag on screen, but you'll have to wait for that. Um, just so you have a frame of reference in case you're interested in this bag. I'm going to add again, this bag is gorgeous. I mean, this is a gorgeous bag. The leather is fantastic. Um, if you're interested in the boy bag, this might be an alternative for you if you don't want to spend a thousand or better. Um, but I mean, some people might not mind, but I do, uh, which is why I jumped on this. Because I'm more interested in not the label, but the actual style of the bag and the quality of the bag. Um, which is why I was able to get this and not feel away about it. Oh, God, I can't wait to carry it. I love this damn bag. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back for another color though because I want a different type bag. But I don't know. The tan one is quite gorgeous also. But I have so many tan bags. Anyhow, that is what this bag is looking like. Uh, before we go, however, I'm going to take these things out and show you the inside. Again, this is what my items are looking like. I mean, there's a lot, this is a spacious little, like, sack, <laughs> if you will. Um, I'm going to take all this stuff out because I have another bag to show you. That will be our next and final handbag. Ooh. Close this drawer. I need to put that drawer in order. Anyway, the inside of the bag is like this. It's just an open bag. But they do have like this little, um, would you call it a slot? A little pocket slot here on the side. I, again, don't know if the actual boy bag has that. Um, because when I looked at the boy, I was interested in purchasing a boy. I did not like i mean see any pictures of the inside and i haven't watched any like unboxings of it we're gonna move on to the next bag <laughs> okay so let me move into the light girl this lighting <sighs> this closet is still under construction so you're just gonna have to be patient with me hopefully these bags are coming across the way i need them to come across so you get the full effect now i did say i was going to circle back didn't i say i was going to circle back i said i was going to circle back and girlfriend let me tell you there's a whole long ass story with this bag though um a bit of drama i told you briefly that i got into it with the ups the ups is a mess that's the kindest word i could find why is this kind of crooked yeah, this is kind of crooked i'm sorry hold on let me try to fix that ups is i mean they're just not helpful i got into a whole drama ups over this bag um i said i was going to share with you i'm going to give you the short version if i can but let's just get into the bag because I don't want to waste time and in case you don't give a damn you can turn off my long spiel my anger spill about UPS this is the Brandon Blackwood bag I said I was going to circle back for 
And you will notice that I ripped everything off because I had to check the bag out in UPS to make sure that everything was the way I needed it to be. And I'll explain why during my, you know, story time, if you will. Now, this is the Brandon Black... Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? This is the Brandon Blackwood bamboo bag. Now... If you've been here before, you know I purchased a card case and uh, what color did I get it in black, right? And the black had been sold out for almost ever. Ugh, my lighting is a mess. Hold on. I'm moving around in this closet space trying to... Anyway, hopefully you can see me clear because it's a mess. Anyway, I'm still in my under construction closet, so just bear with me. You... It's a lot going on. Anyway, this is the Brandon Blackwood uh, bamboo handbag that I wanted for the longest time. When I purchased the Bowen bag, I was conflicted between this and the Bowen. Although I initially went to purchase the Bowen bag, uh, when I went to the site and saw this, I just was like, oh my God, I love that bag. But the black was sold out they only had the card case left so i just went with my original you know bag that i wanted and i purchased the bowen bag which i love um and i went back maybe some months later to get the card case because in my mind i was like damn it's taking forever for the bamboo bag to come back in stock um let me just get the card case because that might be sold out and i won't be able to get it but i purchased it in black <sighs> months passed again and I get an alert right because of course I'm I, I'm on their you know email list because I want to know when this bag is coming back in stock I want this bag I have to say though it's my first time being on anyone's list to get an alert that's how I know I really wanted this bag um no I'm lying it's not my first time but for handbag it is um anyhow so I get the alert the bamboo, you know, you know, the alert from Brandon Black, the bamboo bag is back in stock or whatever. So I'm like, oh, it's back in stock. Race to the site. They have it in black. Great. But baby, they also have it in brown. And I was like, okay, the brown is a game changer. They just screwed us because, you know, I need a black bag. But that chocolate, the chocolate, the contrast, the juxtaposition of the chocolate and the bamboo together, boo. <laughs> ah. And so, ah. she's so cute. She is more than cute. She is just adorbs. She is beautiful. I mean, just look at, like, look at this. And the size is so small, but sturdy, gorgeous, roomy. And I'm just, oh my God, like, so I can definitely see myself carrying her like this all the time because I just like mm, the look. But, okay, let's just get into the bag because I'll be here, like, drooling the whole time. I already ripped off the stuff, which I didn't rip off in uh, UPS, but I did when I got home. L let's, t let's walk through it slow. Let me just lay her strap up there. Will it stay? I don't want it to fall to the floor. Let's keep it right there. This is what the inside is looking like. I mean, it's black on the inside, the lighting. So you're not going to see everything clearly, especially not on my camera. Uh, forgive me. But it is what it is. Of course, there's the, you know, Brandon Blackwood little tag on the inside. Brandon Blackwood, New York, I believe it says. And then it's like an open box. Ooh, that was that little silica packet. Uh, and, but it towards the front of the bag on this side is like a little slot. You're not going to be able to fit anything 
of significance in it. You can put a card case and keep it pushing. That's only if you give a damn. Um, I don't believe my Bowen bag came with this. I feel like this is something new. This tag here to Brandon Blackwood. I feel like they did have something um, in terms of care, but it wasn't as cute, I guess, or as, I don't know. It, it wasn't like this. Um, so this is the card, you know, that comes on the bag. I don't know if it's just for these bags, meaning the bamboo bags, but that is that. This is the cross body strap that comes with it. It has like a muted matte, not even antique gold, but like a matte gold, which I, I, I think it makes it look even more gorgeous. Uh, let me snap this to the side. I want to see if I can give you some idea of how the bag falls. And then also really quickly what fits in the bag. The leather is divine. This bag is more structured uh, than the Bowen bag. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to have to take my time and put this on. Okay. Now, let's see if it fits my essentials. Of course it does. I already know that. Um, but here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My card, my my card case, my key holder, a lotion, right? Everybody pretty much carries a small lotion about this size or a jar um, when you're carrying a handbag, even when you're carrying a tote most times, and my cell phone. All right, can my cell phone fit? Mm, let's see. All right, girl, stop back and forth. You know your cell phone comes back. I just need to maybe move this out of the way. Put my cell phone in it, but I want to see if a lipstick could fit too. Um, I didn't test that theory. All right, so I'm just going to put any random lipstick um, in there. I'm going to have to put her like straight up. Let's see. And that is like that, but this is like peeking up out above the top. I might have to finagle like the way these things fit in here. And let me close it. Right. Um, it fits. I should say also, this bag is pretty heavy. It is not. Let me move up closer because the lighting is not doing us any justice. And I do want you to see the bag really nice and close up. Uh, this is fairly heavy. Uh, obviously, it's from this bamboo hardware all over the bag. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is pretty heavy, and I'm, again, it's from this. Uh, across my body, would I need to adjust this? <clears throat> I don't think so. Let's see where it fits. Let me pull this down so you get some idea if it's, like, right about there. Um, the same way the boy dupe fit me, it fits about the same place. Let me tighten my belt. I'm sorry. How do I have this belt on? Oh, sorry. This dress, in case anybody cares, is from bar three. Um, it's a Macy's bag. <laughs> Macy's brand, not Macy's bag. Um, so hopefully you can kind of get an idea of how the bag or where the bag falls on me. All right, like right in the same spot. All right. But yes, hopefully the brown, the chocolate brown is coming across really nicely. This is the Bamboo Brandon Blackwood bag. That is the Brandon Blackwood bag. Um, and the Brandon Blackwood Bamboo bag, gold hardware, very nice muted gold. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love this. I think it's a, such a beautiful bag. The quality is there. Um, I'm going to again have the specs on screen in case you're interested um, I don't know what else to say I'm very satisfied 
with this bag. The coach bag, ugh, I don't know. I keep saying I don't know. I think I need to just send... But I'm talking it through with you guys, showing you the bag itself, I started to feel like I wanted to keep it. Let me know what you think about the coach bag. <laughs> oh, I'm so conflicted. Uh, anyhow, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember to like, share, and consider subscribing. And until next time, as always, take great care. Bye. So, really quickly, in case you care, UPS tried to deliver the handbag, but Brandon Blackwood does not leave handbags at your door. You must sign for your purchase. I wasn't here when they decided to deliver it or when it was supposed to be delivered. So, no sweat. I could just go up to UPS. It's not too far from me to pick up the bag on the weekend because they tried to deliver it on a Thursday. They left a door tag on my door saying, pick your bag up or pick your package up, rather, before March 26th, which was Monday that just passed. So, no problem. I'm going to go get my bag on Saturday. I go in. The gentleman tells me my bag, I'm saying bag, but I really mean package because he doesn't know what it is. Um, your, your package is not here. After he went around the corner and checked. All right, I'm seeing him. He's in full view of me when he goes to check. But they also have like a back room. So I'm like, um, what? But this says that my package is here and I should pick it up before so-and-so date. Yeah, I know, but, you know, actually it says 318 on your uh, door tag, so they really meant to come. It'll be ready by Monday. Now, UPS is closed on Sunday, so being ready by Monday doesn't make sense to me because how would they deliver it? Nobody's going to be in the UPS store to open it to make it available for packages to be dropped off something the math isn't mathing so i say um are you sure something doesn't add up i don't understand what you mean it just does not make sense he goes well um sometimes they miss a drop and they say it's going to be there at the store but it's not there he gave me some other spill it didn't add up it didn't make sense so i'm like he's like does that make sense i know it doesn't make sense but anyway i'm just like okay girl you're about to blow and so you don't want to blow because i made slight mention to me being ill and like my last video on the video before that. So I didn't want to make myself even, you know, when you get stressed out or you get upset, it can affect your health even more. So I go to leave because uh, I'm like, I'm just going to call UPS and figure out what the hell's going on. I go to leave and there's a UPS driver out front delivering, about to deliver some packages. I stop him and ask for his help. He calls headquarters. Headquarters confirms your package should be at the store. And I go back in, tell the guy, listen, he just helped me out. The gentleman is unloading now. Just help me out. He said my package is indeed here. He called headquarters. What's good? Where's my package? He looks very surface level look around like, like this type of look around. Not here. So I'm like, are you sure? He was like, well, it's likely that whoever took the pa accepted the package misplaced it. So I said, well, is it possible to maybe call who was here yesterday and see where they might have put the package? I mean, to me, that's not a, like too much to ask. Um... When you got the UPS delivery, where'd you put the packages? No, I, I said, or the manager, I'm the manager. Okay, well, even better. What, that would make it more acceptable for you to be calling one of your employees, perhaps, on the weekend to say, we just want to locate where you maybe put this woman's package. No, I can't do that. 
So I said, I'm trying to understand why you're not helping me locate my package when I just confirmed with the driver and the headquarters that it is here. You first told me it wasn't here, and now you're not being helpful. We go back and forth. Eventually, he screams out that I'm being rude to him. And right then and there, again, I'm like, okay, girl, you have to exit stage left. Because if you don't, there's going to be some slow singing and flower bringing. So, I go. You know what? You're right. Just like that. You know what? I just pause. Because before, I'm going back and forth. You know what? You're right. And I just turn and I'm walking out. I call UPS again. They're not helpful, but they do confirm. Someone at the store signed for your package at 11.33 or 11.23 Friday. So we have proof that it was delivered there. We're not, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're not sure why the gentleman is saying your package is not there. Uh, we have proof that it was delivered. What we're going to do is open an investigation. The driver is going to have to check back in with them because this is what the driver, the driver that delivered the package is saying. This is how it was delivered and all that. Okay. But it's a whole nother thing with them also. They kind of transferred me like three different times. Weren't as helpful as I would have liked. Uh, but you know, whatever. It was a Saturday. The store was closing. And then that was another thing. And our back and forth, after he said that I was being rude to him, he goes, I'm supposed to be going home. So I'm like, okay, so that's really what it is. You want to go home and you don't want to be helpful. And how are you the manager? The level of unprofessionalism is skyrocketing. It's through the roof, over the moon. In another galaxy right now, you are so unprofessional and a liar. Anyhow, I had to go back early Monday and thankful enough, that Monday that I went back, I had a doctor's appointment. So I went before my doctor's appointment and was able to get my package. Interestingly enough, the gentleman that was there went right to the same spot, but on the other side of the same spot to retrieve my package. And I'm like, can you tell me where it was? Because I got into it with the guy here Saturday who said it wasn't here. What happened? He was like, I don't even want to get into it with you. But he looked like he was into something. He he had something extra for breakfast also. So, I mean, at that point, it probably was like, don't blow my high. Please don't blow my high. And I was like, you know what I have? I opened my stuff right then and there just to confirm and just left. That's why I opened it there because too many shenanigans. I don't know what was, in, like, I wanted to make sure. And then the cardboard box that the box came in was kind of ripped open <laughs> what is all that about so let me make sure my stuff is in here before I leave because something does not add up anyway that's my story I just wanted to share um yeah 